What's going on, guys? It's me, Party Blue, and I'm back. Oh god, I'm I'm back. So I have not uh, recorded a video in a good amount of time. Uh, that's because school and uh, other stuff, like not having time, because I have a lot of stuff. Um. So yeah, I um yeah I haven't uploaded in about three weeks, which I feel bad for. I'm still doing both. I'm still doing both channels. I'm, I'm gonna be still doing both channels, but I'm gonna add something new to this channel. You got me. A new series, and this series will be called Number Fifteen Burger King Foot Lettuce. <laughs> nah, you just got prank Jake Paulers. It's alright, Jake Paulers. Okay, I'm gonna put Jake Paul in the description so I can get views. Okay, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be starting my new series of. Who was in this series? I'm gonna be talking about like um people from history. I did pretty big things or bad things. Um yeah, uh, it can do good things, bad things. So yeah, I'm just gonna talk about random people from history that uh, I know a lot about. So you're probably wondering, well, Brody, if there's a new series today, who is it about? Our first episode and uh. Of 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 the uh, uh, who was that's what it was. Uh, what are we gonna be talking about? This guy. See, he was from a, he was from the World War Two area. It is not Hitler, first of all. Just saying. He um he was British. He uh he did he did a lot for uh, the British in World War Two. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll talk. His name is Winston Churchill. See, uh, Winston Churchill was the British Prime Minister from, I think it was 1940 to 1945. I don't think he served for too long. Or, or it might have been 19... I don't know. I don't know. I can't really remember uh, that. But, um, yeah, he, uh, he was the Prime Minister of Britain during the World War II area. Um, well, era, I mean, he was a, uh, British politician, uh, he was a writer as well, you know, um, <clears throat> he was also an army officer, which is kind of weird, if you look at him in a picture, he's kind of, kind of chubby, yeah, um, so, from, he, <clears throat> um, so, he first served, his um, time as the Prime Minister from 1940 to 1945, and again from 1951 to 1955, I believe. Oh, yeah, 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 because I remember he served uh, two terms. Well, not, he went two terms. So, uh, Churchill, he led, he basically led, um, Vic he led Britain to victory in the Second World War. Um, ideology, uh, ideologically, um, an economic liberal, in a British impersonalist, he was a member. He was a member of the Liberal Party, uh, I believe, from 1904 to 1924 for about 20 years, uh, and then he joined the Conservative Party, uh, which he led from 1940 to 1955. Mm -hmm. uh, Churchill he represented five um, kind of different things during his career as the uh, member of the Parliament. Um, so yeah, he is. He did a lot of stuff. So, um. Now. He was born in Arkser. Sorry for butcher this name. I don't. I don't know British cities. Oxfordshire, I think. Um. In an aristocratic family. Churchill, he was the son of. He was the son of Randolph Churchill. Are you. Yeah, Randolph. It was Randolph Churchill. He was the son of. And then Jenny Jerome. Uh, joining the British Army, he saw um, action in the British India in the so again if I mispronounce this, Algo Sudan War and the um, Second Bior War, uh, gaining fame um, as a war con, con uh, and in writing books uh, about his campaigns. He elected a MP in nineteen in nineteen hundred. Um, initially, as a conservative, he Defected the Liberals in 1904. Um, Churchill served as the president of the Board Trade, 
Home Secretary and First Lord of the uh, Administrator, uh, championing, championing prison reform and worker social security during the First World War. He oversaw, again, if I mispronounce this, Galopi, Galopi campaign. After it, proved, after it proved a disaster, he resigned from the government and went to serve in the Royal Scouts Fullisters and on the Western Front. In 1917, uh, sorry. In 1917, he returned to the uh, government under David Lloyd George as uh, Minister of uh, Mutations. He was subsequent, subsequent, uh, I can't talk right now, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm having trouble talking, so sorry if I mispronounce words. Um, Secretary of State for War and uh, Secretary of State for Air. So he was like the he was he controlled their Air Force. Yeah. I put Winston Churchill did for a little bit. Um, what else? After two years of Parliament, he served as the uh, Chancellor of Exeter, I think it was pronounced, and uh, Stanley Baldwin's uh, Conservative government, returning to the. Uh, the pound sterling in 1925 to the gold standard. At its pre-war parity, um, a move to widely seen as creating a, a kind of pressure on the UK economy. Out of office in the 1930s, um, Churchill took to took the lead in calling retirement uh, to the counter-growing threat of the of Nazi Germany. Not eh, eh, I'm really having trouble talking. From uh, Nazi Germany. If you don't know what Nazi Germany was, like, where you been, kid? So, uh, if you don't know, quick brief: Nazi Germany was led by um, Adolf Hitler. He just kind of wanted to take over the world because he was mad in World War One that Germany got the short end of the stick. So he came back and started a war with a bunch of other people that hated the Allies and was like, "I hate you guys too, but you, you want to kill these guys?" It's like, and they were like, "Sure." Okay, um, at the outbreak of the Second World War, he was reappointed First Lord of Administrator uh, following Prime, Mem Prime Minister uh, Neville Chamberlain's uh, resignation in 1940. Churchill replaced him. Churchill oversaw British involvement in the Allied war effort, resulting in victory in 1945. His wartime response to the uh, 1943 Bengal Famine, which claimed an estimated Three million lives. So during this famine, if you don't know what famine is, it's a time of low food. Um, about three million people had died, which was in a bad time, being that uh, Nazi Germany was also taking over and probably getting ready to invade the UK. Um. He, uh, he caused controversy and uh, sanctioned the 1945 bombing of Dresden, Dresden, I believe it's pronounced, which caused tens of thousands of civilian deaths and continues to be debated. Uh, after the conservatives' defeat in the 1945 general election, he became leader of the opposition, um, admin developing the Cold War with the Soviet Union. He publicly, publicly... Publicly, a lot of people don't know that he did this publicly. Warned of an iron curtain of Soviet influence in Europe. So, so kind of overview since this video. I'm, I don't want to make these videos too long, but I don't want to make them too short. <clears throat> so, kind of an overview. Winston Churchill was a prime minister of Great Britain during. From about n about 1940 to 1955, around them area, around that time, he um he's had his fair share of controversy. Um, served in the war. He he was a pretty cool guy. He um so yeah, he he really helped with World War Two. Even though he's had his fair share of controversy again. So yeah, he's kind of like PewDiePie. I mean, he has a lot, a lot, a lot of controversy, but like, he's a pretty cool dude. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the first video of who, who was this? Who was this guy? Who was, that's, that's, I'm sorry, who was this person? Yeah, gender neutral here. 
Okay, so, hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Who Was. If you did, hit the like button, because you know what? I'm poor. Like, I, I need that, that YouTube ad revenue. And I don't get that until a thousand subscribers. So you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Get me, get, get me paid. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.